My boyfriend and I had been on the rocks already for a while, but he still appeared at my house without warning to watch the election returns, which we had both obsessed over for months, studying polls and electrical vote numbers. Chris and I sat, intertwined on the sofa, into the night, watching the numbers come in, each one worse news than the last. Until in the middle of the night, it became clear that somehow America had elected that disaster of a human being to a second term. I also knew that Chris and I would definitely break up. If Carrie had won, I think perhaps a little optimism might have carried us through. My parents living room, the continual blaring, blathering of the TV, and us with nothing left to say. Chicago in the mid-1960s during one of the big Democratic conventions. The 
same one the MC5 played at. All of a sudden, my mom said, run. And we were running away from riot cops who were chasing down and clubbing the protesters. Lots of tear gas. In the back of the station wagon, I remember crying and flashing the peace sign at everyone. Grand Park, Chicago, Illinois. Rock and roll. just returned from New York about a month prior. I never sleep downstairs in my parents' house, but that night I did. My brother came downstairs and woke me up at 6 a.m. to watch the news. I didn't leave the couch all day. I watched the news the entire day and don't remember going to sleep that night. 9-11 in my garage. 9-11, Chicago, riding my bike past blocked traffic. It was sunny. Nothing was moving, but I could move. The beating sun in the sky. Shut up about 9-11. I know. I know. I know. Visiting San Francisco, I My first I'm not sure if you're a 